My purpose is to <coughs> save the photographic history of the 20th century. I do that by obtaining as many old negatives and color slides as possible, both from professional studios and amateur photographers. And here, I catalog them, identify them, and archive them. If they're color, I refrigerate them. I am building the largest collection of Western Americana photographs in existence, and I am going to donate them to the University of Oregon when I pass away. I was a sound engineer and I wanted to learn how to photograph and so I built a darkroom and then I chanced upon a collection of glass negatives taken in Washington of logging camps and I felt like I was stepping into a time machine. It was such an amazing experience. A few years later I had a big bicycle accident and I was laid up for a long time and I had a lot of time to think and I thought is this really what I want to do with my life and I decided then to start writing my first book about the history of photography and within five years I quit the sound business and went into historical photography full time. Paper negatives were made in 1839 by Talbot, so that is the first negative, 1839. Everybody knows about resolution. If you have a six megapixel camera, you get a 14 inch wide print before you have to start resing things up. You have to start to fake it. But more importantly, the, ra the range of dark values to light values that a digital camera can record is very limited. It's about five or six f-stops. Now on film, you can record twice that many. So what that means is you can see detail in the shadows and detail in the highlights. You can photograph a contrasty subject matter and see everything. If you are photographing on film using a tripod and a polarizing filter, you're going to be able to take pictures that can be printed much larger than other photographers and will be of publication quality. So you, this gives you a real competitive advantage. Okay, high, high quality scanning is done on a drum scanner. If you want that National Geographic look, you have to do the same thing that they do. Use a drum scanner. You mount the film wet, which improves the color rendition and eliminates scratches. Once your film is mounted on the drum, then you are ready to put it in the drum scanner. A lot of pictures have, have personality. You know, what people looked like, what they were feeling, often comes through. We were just looking at the pictures of the prisoners, and those faces are so emotive. The, they're, they're going to jail for a long time and they've done something really bad and they have a look on their face that tells the whole story. There was one day that I was looking at pictures. I'd been filing them and all day and I just looked at one and something inside me said, you know what, I can take a better picture than that. 
I'm going to do it. And I just got on the bus and rode downtown. I knew right where I wanted to go, which was the picture I was looking at. And there, I took a picture that was as good a one as probably anybody was going to take that day. Uh, I do photography, and I view it as my responsibility to do that because since I spend so much time helping people find old pictures that they're looking for, I know what people are going to be looking for 20 years from now, and nobody's shooting it. For example, the uh, gentrification of this neighborhood. Well, five years ago, I went around and photographed every building on the major streets in this neighborhood. I gave 64 of them to the University of Oregon for a film they're doing on the subject, and I've supplied them to other publications, including architectural, and all those pictures are only five years old, and already they are historic pictures, and the best set taken of this neighborhood. When I photograph, I'm photographing for people who haven't been born yet. I'm trying to create pictures that are rich in detail, and so I use the largest film format that I feel comfortable carrying. I shoot on a large negative, I shoot in color, and I try to uh, shoot representative examples of a neighborhood trying to get the soul of a city on film.